All right, I'm Elijah Harris, and um, I'm gonna take you through the hurdle progression when you're warming up for hurdle practice. So as a hurdler, you know, we come to practice and you do your regular warm up, but at the same time, you have to go through a hurdle warm up to loosen up your hip flexors. Cause that's a part of, that's a part of uh, hurdling that hurdlers have to focus on. So I'm gonna take you through the hurdle progression. So we have, okay, we have five hurdles here. Um, you wanna do it with at least five hurdles. All I have today is five. And um, I'm gonna take you through all the steps uh, for your hurdle progression. All right, so the first thing is you wanna go over with one leg over each hurdle, like so. And when you, you wanna do that four times. And when you go over, you wanna keep your hips high um, as if you're going over an actual hurdle. And as you go along, it'll loosen up your hip flexors. So the next thing you wanna do is both legs over each hurdle. And when you do that, you want to make sure you're pulling your trail leg through like you're going over the hurdle. So, you want to get your knee up like this and pull your trail leg through. Always pulling it through. And you're going to go through that starting with each leg twice. So, it's a total of four times, two starting with each leg. Um, once you get through that, you want to, it's one step in between each and you're just going over like that, so. And just like the other drills, you wanna get a good, a good lead leg, bring your knee up, stay high with your hips, and always pulling the tray leg through. And you wanna do that twice with each leg, leading with each leg. Um, you can take out this hurdle and you're going to end up putting it in front of the last one. So it's going to end up being one, two, three hurdle spaces in between each hurdle. So I'm going to count it out like this. Yeah. And at this point, we're going to break down hurdling a little bit. So we're going to go through these, um, each over a lead leg and a trail leg. So when you do your lead leg, lead, I mean, people lead with different legs. So I lead with my left leg. So I'm gonna go along the right side of the hurdles like that, all the way through the hurdles. But it's one step in between. So you're gonna be moving. Um, but, you, but like I said, you're gonna break it down. So once I go through with my lead leg, I'm also gonna go to the other side and go through my, with my trail leg. So lead leg first. And like I said before, always get your knee up to where you're driving into the hurdle and not swinging your leg up. That's how you slow down. Um, I'll go through it again. So you do that four times and um, then you go over to your trail leg. And like I said before, um, when, when you do this, you want to you wanna make it look like you're going over with your lead leg as well as your trail leg. So you're gonna act like you're actually going over something with your trail leg, I mean with your lead leg, when you pull your trail leg through over the hurdle. Um, but like I said, always get your trail leg up, hips high, and you go through like this. And when you go through, um, it's, almost, it's almost natural. You'll, end up, you'll work your arms at the same time like you're going over an actual hurdle. So um, that's just training you repetition to work your arms and that'll come into play when you're running a race. So I'll go through it again. So like your lead leg, you'll go through that four times um, for your trail leg. Um, this next and last drill, um, you're gonna end up going over the middle hurdle so lead and trail leg at the same time. Why are you getting so close? So yeah, I, this drill, I would say is for more advanced hurdlers. Um, if you feel like, like you're ready me. to do it, <laughs> if you feel like you're ready to do it, you know, um, this would be your, your last drill, just one step. 
It works on quick lead leg action and trail leg action. So it forces you to get up and down over the hurdle with both your lead and trail leg. Um, and I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. So it forces you, it literally forces you to have to get your lead, lead leg up and pull your trail leg through. Otherwise, you'll fall. Trust me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll go through that one more time. Um, this is a really good drill for people um, that, that don't pull their lead leg through or don't have a proper, or don't, don't pull our trail leg through or don't have a proper lead leg um, because it, it literally forces you to do that. There's no space. So that's the end of the hurdle progression um, when you're warming up for drills. Um, if you want to do more, if you feel like you're not loose enough, that's fine. Um, you can add some to any one of the drills. You can do extra stretching. But always make sure you're loose and ready to run before you start actual practice. I'm Elijah Harris and that's the hurdle progression at Salisbury University.